Hey everybody, welcome to Sid's Little Corner of the Internet. We've got another Transformers review coming your way. This time around we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Predacon Tarantulas. So as we always do, let's go ahead and take a look at that packaging first. And I will tell you before we begin, this packaging is beat up really bad. And there's a reason for that. Uh, I ended up picking this figure up at a local flea market. I don't know how the person at the flea market got a hold of this figure. Uh, but the box was severely damaged. It was unopened, but it was severely damaged. But as you can see, I got a pretty good discount on it, so I'm all right with that. So anyway, right here we have at the top Transformers Legacy. There's your big gaping hole. And over here, underneath that sticker, you have some artwork of Tarantulas. He is a deluxe class. Transformers up the side. You got all your artwork there. On the back, you have your product shots. So uh, looking good in both of his modes and feel free to scan that if you want to and also parents And down here you have your warnings and you have your sad baby and we know why the baby's sad Look at the box Yeah Over here some more good artwork and down low you have this information if you want to read it So that is it for the packaging Let's go ahead and get that beat up box out of the way and see what came inside of it Behold, laid out here in front of you is everything that came inside that box, and we'll start over here with your little sheet of warnings, and you also get your instruction booklet. So that leaves you with what we have here. He comes with two accessories, and I think for the most part they're pretty good accessories. They're not the most exciting thing in the world, but let's go ahead and get started, and we're going to take a look at this rifle, bow, whatever you want to call it, harpoon uh, thing. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it looks okay. I mean, it's just molded in black plastic. It's got a pretty decent amount of sculpt work on it. Very reminiscent of the weapon, the accessory that we get with the Kingdom Black Arachnia. But it is its own unique mold. Uh, just no paint on there. But it looks alright. And then, moving on, you get his saw. So, this thing looks pretty cool. I do like this uh, metallic purpley chrome kind of paint that they put on there and then you get some pretty decent sculpt work on that black plastic as well looks good from both sides and you've got a, a couple of ports here so you can do some things or you've got a port and a peg so you can do some things with that if you want to and these weapons do combine so if you want to plug them in you can make kind of a super saw bow weapon rifle thing if you want to do that uh, you can also Plug it in under here if you want to do something along those lines. I'm not sure what you would accomplish there, but it looks good, I guess. So there you go. So they're okay. They're not the most exciting thing, but they're pretty good. So that leaves us with what we see here, which of course is that tarantulas figure. So let's go ahead and get into those details. Here he is, the arachnid we've been waiting to see. This is the legacy tarantulas. So let's go ahead and start up here at the head and take a look at those details. And I think he is a very good looking figure. Oh, well, he's ugly, but he's done well. So you have those extra eyes up there. And then you've got that really cool green and his yellow visor. All that looks good. Coming down to that chest with the nice texturing on it. And if you look closely, this kind of looks like big old fly's eyes and then a little fly mouth right there. Ugh, kind of thing, I guess, if you want to squint. Uh, and then coming on down here, he's got a bunch of eyes on his crotch. So he's always watching you. And coming down here to those legs, I like the greens and the purples here. Uh, I think just from just about every angle he looks good even the insides of the legs no hollow areas to speak of really he's got a few on the back but they're not the worst thing in the world especially for a deluxe class price point and then you get that nice texturing right out here on those outer thighs as well knees looking great and then you've got that nice green down here for those legs and then the yellow down here for these feet and then you do have some ports underneath uh, I'm not going to go too crazy with blast effects in this review. I think you guys get the point. You can make rockets out of this. So you do have those ports available to you. And coming up the side, kind of giving you that side profile. Skinny little legs, and then you're making your way up. And he is, for the most part, he is solid all the way through. You do have a little bit of a gap back here for this backpack where everything uh, compacts up underneath that abdomen section for the tarantula. But it looks pretty good for the most part. Uh, coming over here to the arms, I do very much enjoy that green. 
these are just going to keep getting in your way no matter what you do it's not a bad thing just be aware of it uh, then you've got those candy striped claws stripes in nature means danger so keep away and then coming around to the back um yeah he looks good even back here i mean this just looks like he's got a big spider on his back which he kind of sort of does i suppose and the only hollow areas really to speak of are right down here in the backs of the legs but even then i think they're done well enough that i don't really mind this they don't they're not detrimental uh to the overall look of the figure i think he looks good from every angle and now we'll go ahead and move on to the articulation for this figure. And I think he's done pretty darn well, actually. Uh, he's limited in his head, which we're going to see right now. But everywhere else, I think he's he's done really well. So you do have the tiniest, tiniest of motions in the head. So you can go down that far. You can go up that far. So you get about that much motion. Same thing side to side. Just the tiniest amount of side to side. And then you can spin the head all the way around if you want to do that. Coming over here to the shoulders, we're going to start right up here, actually. So you've got a bit of a butterfly joint. Now, this is help, helpful in transformation, but it's also something that you can take advantage of. Um, if you move those out of the way, you can see how far you swing back before you hit that abdomen. Because ultimately, in transformation, you're going to bring these all the way up back here. So you do get some of that butterfly motion right there that you can use. And then at this shoulder joint right here, barring running into things, you can get that up pretty high. So if you get those out of your way, you can get that up right at 90 degrees if you don't he's going to start hitting right there so just uh, like i said constantly moving these spider legs back here which of course you can angle these any way you want in the bot mode i mean if you just want to have them out like that so he's uh splayed out uh, your toy your choice go for it i just like mine compacted up like that uh coming on down you get 90 degrees just below that bicep it looks kind of awkward but it works uh nothing no major deals there and then you also have rotation right there at a different joint just above and then you have the ability to rotate these spider legs any way you want as well independently of the rest of the arm so lifting this up out of the way you do have waist rotation so you can take that around uh, you're just going to be fighting running into geometry but you still get a pretty good amount of swing there so not bad at all coming on down to the legs you do get a full split so not quite a tarantula van dam but a full split right there which is good and then as far as swinging those legs forward you're going to get that much of a front kick and then back kick you're going to be basically if you swing his leg out enough you're going to be able to get it up about that high if you keep it straight back you're just going to run into his abdomen right there so up to you uh thigh rotation you can go all the way around with this guy so uh, virtually, virtually limitless. Stumble over my words there. And for the knees, this is great. Because of transformation, you can collapse that completely. And you can see that tab where that just falls right into that slot in there for transformation into spider mode. So uh, really good range of motion there. As far as the feet go, you can bring those feet down that far. You can bring the feet up that far. And then you do have ankle tilt. So full 90 degrees in. So you know what we have to do. Go ahead and have him doing the, uh, the limbo right there. So there you go. He has a really, really well done range of articulation minus that head. But everything else on this guy is phenomenal. Now as far as his accessories go, uh, you know, you pretty much do the standard thing here. So uh, he, he's got, you can see on the claw, he's got kind of this semicircle right there. And uh, wouldn't you know it, it uh, lines right up. And then you can plug that in. And, oh, bonus, you can take your other accessory and you can plug it in the other hand. So, yeah, there you go. Now, of course, you can do other things. You could plug the two of them together and you could have a larger weapon. Uh, there's really no storage on bot mode if you don't want him holding the weapon there's really nowhere to put it or at least nowhere that i could find so if i'm mistaken on that let me know in the comments but i can't really find anywhere to put that stuff in the bot mode so he looks pretty good holding them anyway so i'm not going to sweat it too much all right so now that we've covered all the details articulation and accessories let's go ahead and get this guy transformed so we can take a look at him in that really nice tarantula mode
All right, let's get this guy transformed into his tarantula mode. Now, before I begin, I will say this is not a difficult transformation. It's just a little finicky. So uh, just a uh, couple of fiddle areas right here. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to take these legs and you're going to want to swing them forward like he's in a sitting position. So you have his legs just like that. And then you're going to come back here to this abdomen area right here. You're just going to pull this apart. That's going to slide right out of that. And the reason we have him in the sitting position is because it gives this abdomen more area to swing down and out of your way. All right. And the reason you need it to swing down and out of your way is you're releasing the face of the spider that's on a double hinge. So you're going to bring that up and then you're going to take that all the way over and it's going to plug in right there. All right. Now that we have that completed, we're going to swing his arms up out of the way because we're going to rotate this waist, keep that abdomen there, clear all of this, and swing that around 180 degrees. So now you see you have, might be a little difficult to see in there, but down in there you've got a little slot that that tab is going to go in. So then you're just going to take that and you're going to line that up and push that in. And uh, you kind of have the top of the spider completed at this point. So now you can just take these arms, rotate these arms around so they're pointing upwards. All right, and then we're going to get to these momentarily, but first we're going to focus on these legs. So these legs, they're a little bit tricky. This is the finicky part of it, I suppose, if you want to call it that. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring these legs up. If they fell out of the sitting position, bring them back up. And then you have these tabs right here that are going to line up with these slots back here. So you're going to take your foot, bring that foot back like that, and then you're going to bring this leg down. And then you're just going to plug that in so you're sitting in this kind of a position. Now, the strange thing is, you're going to now take this foot and you're going to bring the foot back down. And the reason that you need to do that is you, ideally, you have some little posts down in there that you want to align with these. I don't know if I get them. I don't know if I don't. But I know that everything fits and everything works. So the idea behind that is you need to bring those feet down so you can clear the back of this abdomen. So bring those feet down and then give that a little push clear the back of that abdomen. And then you can start bringing this leg down, but don't bring it down all the way yet. Bring it about right there. And I'll show you why here in a second. So do the same thing over here. Bring that foot back and then close this leg up and then bring your foot down, tuck it in inside the abdomen and then bring that down a little bit. So you should have something that looks like this. The reason that you don't want to close those all the way yet is because you need to put your weapon storage in there. So the weapon storage is a little tricky. You have these tabs right here that are going to line up to these slots right there. And this completes the spider look. It kind of looks like his spinnerets on his butt. So you kind of line these up. And it's not the easiest thing. And they're kind of shallow. They don't hold completely tight. So you want to give that a squeeze. And then these right here, the legs, when you bring these in, these are going to hold the weapon in the rest of the, the, rest of the way in. So then you're just going to give that a push squeeze all that in and then you have those legs complete. So you should have something that's kind of compacted up like that and looking like that from the back. All right. So now we can turn our attention to these areas right here. So what you're going to do, these are on double hinges. You're going to swing this in and then swing these out and then turn these claws around. You want these claws to be pointing downward like that. So that's your range of motion that you want. You can do the same thing over here right now, or you could do it after we do the rest. It's up to you. So kind of get those lined up. Now, you have, in on these parts of the legs right here, you have this little tab right in there. It's going to tuck into that slot. Then you have this tab right here in the head that's going to tuck into this slot. I have found that it's easier if you tuck the back in first and then kind of maneuver everything around and get that pushed into place because ideally what you want to see is all of this to be sitting flush together. So once you get this one in place, kind of give everything a nice squeeze, make your way over here. This one may pop loose while you do this. I've found that that's okay as well, but tuck that leg in, bring this in and give that a push. And then you're sitting there nice and secure and Angle those claws out just a little bit. And now you're just into the cleanup mode where you want to take these legs and bring these spider legs out. 
really however you see fit and swing those out like that bring those out and you have tarantulas in his really cool tarantula mode now one thing before we go any further uh, I don't want to forget you do have weapon storage for this weapon as well so obviously this one is tucked away nicely but then you also have the ability to plug your saw in right there and that sits nice and securely and kind of finishes the look so there you go there you have tarantulas in his alt mode or tarantula mode so here is tarantulas in his alt mode his tarantula mode and my goodness he looks amazing this is easily going to be one of my favorite uh predacon uh, arthropod alt modes uh, that's come out between Kingdom and Legacy. This guy just looks phenomenal all the way around, every every angle. He looks really good. Uh, they've done a good job, I think, of integrating the weapon storage, uh, as you can see back here, coming around, where they've integrated that to kind of look like a, an elongated or an enlarged spinneret. Uh, but, man, the overall shape here, he is as big as a regular, a real, not regular, a real tarantula. Uh, the sculpt work on the plastic for the alt mode looks really nice. Paint's really cool. He's got those eyes up front. He's got his fangs. He's got those candy striped kind of claws. So that kind of throws off the realism a little bit, if you will. Uh, but, you know, stripes in nature means danger, right? So uh, this guy's pretty dangerous. So that's what I'm going to go with here. But I wanted to put him on the turntable here so you could get a nice 360 degree view unobstructed from me holding him and picking him up and getting my hands in the way. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into those details a little bit now. I'm going to go ahead and grab him and we'll start up here at the head. And that all just looks really good. I do very much enjoy this guy. Coming around to the side here, there's those legs. And then you can see just all that texturing in the plastic right there between the, uh, the thorax area and the abdomen area. All of it looks really good. And coming around to this side over here. A whole lot of the same thing. Nature loves symmetry. And we love nature. So let's go ahead and take a look at him from the top. Just so you can get a nice view. I'm going to try to hold him by the weapon down here. And then looking at him underneath. He does have that convenient weapon storage. So he utilizes this here for the spinneret, and then you've got a plug right here. There's just a hole that you plug that saw into right there. This can be a bit of a pain, uh, just trying to tuck it away at the same time as those legs when you compress those legs in, but it's not the worst thing in the world. It just takes a little bit of finesse. Sometimes I don't have finesse, so that could be my problem. <laughs> All right, but let's go ahead and talk real quickly about articulation. So those legs... Um, you know, they're on ball joints, so they do have limited range of motion, but you can get some pretty good range out of them. And then, of course, you can spin around if you want to, I don't know, break the spider legs, whatever you want to do. Nothing really here in this area, so all of your motion is going to come from these, uh, these joints right here on those. And you can move those claws. There you go. Move those claws around up here if you want. You do have some limited motion there, so you can take those. If you want to do something like that, you can do that. And uh, you can spin them a little bit, but you start spinning them, and then everything kind of cut, gets cattywampus there. I mean to do that off frame. So you do have some motion there. So not a tremendous amount of articulation, but I'm going to move this out of my way. But you can certainly have him, you know, with, uh, with a claw up, you know, motioning or gesturing or doing whatever you want to do, and, you know, however you want to display him. So it's like, oh yeah, look, look, the yeah, the maximals are over there. That's what he's doing. He's pointing, he's he's like a he's like a pointer. So there you go. Now that we've taken a look at those details and the articulation in his alt mode, I just love playing with this guy. He is a blast. Now that we've looked at all that, let's go ahead and do some comparisons. For our first comparison, unfortunately, this is the only tarantulas that I have in my collection, so I don't have another one to compare him against. So I figured for that G1 representative, I would go ahead and just bring in my G1 uh, Ripper Snapper, the Terrorbot, just to give you a sense of scale there. So the remainder of our comparisons are just going to be figures from the Transformers Kingdom line for the Beast Wars, for the Predacons, just simply to show how well tarantulas can, can integrate into that line. So this first one here is the Kingdom Waspinator. 
Next up is the Kingdom Predacon Scorponok. So you can see how those two look together. Here he is next to the Kingdom Predacon Black Arachnia. And I think these two look pretty good together. And although uh, they are similar in size when it comes to how far their legs spread out, he's definitely much beefier here in the main body area than Black Arachnia is. And just because I thought it would be fun, here's a group shot of all those uh, Predacon arthropods uh, together. Uh, you've got three arachnids and then you've just got one insect sitting back there. But hey, Waspinator is what he is. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to need a really, really big newspaper because I've got a lot of swatting to do to get rid of some of these bugs. That'll do it for the alt mode comparisons. Let's go ahead and get him transformed back into his bot mode. We'll take a look at him from there. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get Tarantulas transformed back into his bot mode. So what you're going to want to do starting off is you're going to need to disconnect these legs right there. So you're going to need to just apply a little bit of force because you got this tab and slot back here and this tab and slot back here. So you're just going to give that a little bit of a pull and that's going to break all that loose right there. Lift that head up a little bit if you, if you have to and get that loose right there. Once you got this side loose, this side over here will be a lot easier. Go ahead and give that a pull. And now you have that loose. So flip him over. And then you're just going to expand these arms out. So if you just grab right here, bring that on out on that double hinge. Just like that. Now we're not going to do a lot with these right now. We're essentially just going to get them out of our way. So once you have this here, I'm just going to fold these legs up right there just so they're out of my way. Then I'm going to turn my attention back here to the legs. So you're going to start lifting these legs up and once you lift them up just a little bit for the clearance this is where you take out the weapon so just give that a little bit of a pull take that weapon out and put it off to the side and then you're going to bring those legs up all the way right there at the knees and then this is where you need to just work with these feet a little bit to try to get them out of there so once you get a little bit of a clearance then you can grab that foot and then you can pull that up and out of your way like that so same thing over here a little bit of a clearance pull that up and out of your way so now you should have the legs like that looks like he's kind of in a sitting position once you've done that come back here take this abdomen section disconnect it right there and then that's going to be sitting on that double hinge and then what you're going to do you're going to be fighting these arms pretty much the whole time so just get those arms out of your way like that so you've got the clearance and then you're going to pull that down and then you're going to turn this 180 degrees like that. And before you go any further, take this headpiece, lift that headpiece that's sitting on that double hinge, bring that down, and tuck that in right behind his head, like that. And now this that's going to give you the ability to take this abdomen right here. You've got a tab, it's going to go in that slot right there. So bring that up, and then you're just going to be able to tuck that away right there. Just a nice press fit, keep that in its spot. You can now take these legs and just bring them down so he's in that standing position. And now we just need to do the arm cleanup here. So you're going to bring those arms down and then this rotates right here. So kind of finagle all that. You also have this butterfly joint right there. So you're going to be fighting that a little bit. But your goal is to try to bring those tarantula arms to the back like that. And then pose that arm and then do the same thing over here. So you're going to bring your claw out and bring those tarantula arms to the back as much as you can. That way they're tucked away out of your way. And then really it's up to you. This is your choice. However, you want to tuck away the tarantula legs. Leave that entirely up to you. Symmetry, elegance your choice your toy have a good time with it but once you have that and we can get him posed you have tarantulas back in his bot mode so this is what you should see uh, like i say the tarantula legs put them where you want them it's totally up to you I'm just going to try to tuck mine back a little bit more there we go so you should have something that looks like that. All right, now that we've got him back in his bot mode, let's go ahead and do some bot comparisons. 
For a first spot comparison, as I mentioned earlier, I don't have any other tarantulas in my collection at all except for this guy right here. So I'm bringing in my uh, G1 Terabot Ripper Snapper as my sub so you can see a size comparison to a G1 bot. Next up, this is the Transformers Kingdom Waspinator. So you can see how those two guys look together. Here he is next to the Transformers Kingdom Scorponok. And yeah, these two guys make a pretty good pair. For our next comparison, this is the Transformers Kingdom Black Arachnia. So you can see how a couple of spiders look together. And finally, here's a group shot of those Predacon arthropods all together. And I think this makes a pretty good looking group. Well, it really doesn't. They're all very, very ugly, but they're done very well. And, and I think that he just blends right in. Oops, sorry, buddy. He blends right in with uh, the rest of the kingdom line here and uh, just looks fantastic on your shelf. That's going to do it for the comparison, so let's go ahead and get into those final thoughts. Yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Tarantulas. This is an all-around really good figure. Um, he is just fun to play with. He looks great. Uh, it's it's an easy transformation, a little bit fiddly at times, but overall, this is definitely one that you're going to want to pick up. But let's go ahead and jump into it a little bit. We'll start with the overall looks of this guy, the aesthetics. There's there's not much to complain about here. He looks great. He really does in both of his modes. He looks so good in both of those modes. Absolutely wonderful shelf presence. Uh, if I was going to nitpick anything, you know, he's got good paint in a lot of the areas, but maybe if they could have done something with those spider legs i mean i know he's a black tarantula or the the tarantula legs are black but if they could have added some paint or maybe some feathering or something there maybe it would have added a little bit and maybe just a splash of paint on those thighs or in the chest in bot mode just to break up all that purple but otherwise this guy looks really cool the sculpt work and everything on it he's he's just an absolute blast i love looking at this guy i'm going to give him a nine out of ten moving on to the articulation uh there's very little to want for here uh, he does everything and he does it all well. You know, you don't have a, an ab crunch, but you don't really miss it. Uh, and he's got fantastic articulation in every other mode or every other pose that you want to put him in. Um, it would have been nice to have a little bit more head movement, a little more up, down, side to side, that kind of thing. Uh, and I don't know if I would necessarily call it the articulation, but as you're posing this guy, you're going to be constantly moving these tarantula legs to get them out of your way or to put them in the right position just to make him look good so that's a it's a bit of an annoyance but i don't know if i would count that as articulation but everything else is great i'm going to give him a nine out of ten on articulation as well moving on to the accessories they're pretty good uh they're they're not great uh he does come with two i love the fact that you can combine them and you can you know kind of make a super weapon out of them i would have liked to have seen more paint on this uh, part right there whatever you want to call it his bow his gun whatever you want to call it his spinneret it would have been nice to have had a little bit more paint a splash of color on there and blast effect compatibility would always be welcome uh, unfortunately we don't get that with these but this is the first time we've seen these this is uh the this gun here is very similar to what we got with black arachnia but it is its own distinct mold so i'm going to give him an eight out of ten on accessories uh if we see these weapons again, I'm not going to score them as high, but for now, 8 out of 10. Overall quality, uh, it's it's good on this figure. I don't have any major complaints whatsoever, but the one area that I would have liked to have seen a little bit of love given is in these butterfly joints right here, just where, the, where those joints uh, move forward and back, to, and it kind of to give him that butterfly shoulder movement. They're, maybe it's just my copy, but they're loose, and they get kind of annoying. They don't ultimately affect you know, you're posing, they don't affect transformation, anything like that. It's just, they feel a little bit floppy and I'm not a big fan of that. And of course, you know, my box was beat up, but that's because of how I was able to procure this figure. So I'm not going to hold that against him. Uh, but those butterfly joints do bother me a little bit. So I'm going to give him an eight out of 10 on overall quality. Uh, moving on to our last bullet, which is overall value. I think it's an easy, uh, decision here that the value is there. Uh, unfortunately, as we all know, the price on all these figures is going up. 
for whatever reason you want to choose the price on everything is higher than it used to be uh, msrp on this figure is 25 us dollars uh, i think he's worth it i think it's an okay price uh, for me i was able to pick this figure up at a local flea market with a damaged box i do not know how the person i bought it from how they came uh to have that in their possession with the damaged box but he was unopened the box was just damaged uh, and i was able to give 15 us dollars for this figure so for me absolutely the value is there no doubt about it i think even with the msrp i think the value is there as well and i think that you're going to enjoy having this guy in your collection for the price so i'm going to give him an eight out of ten for overall value so that brings us to our grand total out of a possible 50 points legacy tarantulas gets 42 out of 50 which puts him at 84 percent this guy is an easy recommend for me you're going to want to pick him up especially if you already have the legacy kingdom predacon collection um, this is the guy we've been waiting for right and he is a worthy worthy addition he is um, probably rapidly going to ascend to being my favorite arthropod Predacon in my kingdom slash legacy collection here. He's just wonderful. I, I really don't want to put him down. I actually want to play with him right now. So uh, with that, that's going to wrap up the review. I hope you guys got some good information. I hope you were entertained. And if you haven't already done so, please be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And leave a comment if you feel like it. I try to answer as soon as I can. Uh, and one last thing, if this channel or this video is something that you think that others would be interested in uh, please share the video share the channel with people you know uh, we love seeing the channel grow and uh, love having all that feedback that you guys provide so uh, any help you can give us there would be really appreciated so with that that's going to wrap it up until we see you in the next review take care